fellow YouTubers, viewers, and my friends out there. It's Mr. Lee Nidus. And uh, finally, the anticipated review of the Hoffner Beast uh, is here. I'm going to begin this video uh, with the tabletop, and then uh, toward the latter part of the video, I will have uh, some testing footage of uh, the knife, which I had a really good time with this. A ton of fun. It's a wicked blade. Um, big, bl uh, beefy, you know, hardcore knife, and uh, you know, Mr. Hoffner has an awesome, uh, you know, awesome knife here, and just had a ton of fun. So before I, you know, get too deep into anything, I'm just going to go ahead and give a little background information uh, about Brian Hoffner, and then you know that'll lead into the knife. And uh, I met uh, Mr. Hoffner, and I'll go ahead and get uh, the beast out of the sheath here. I met him at Blade Show uh, 2014, Atlanta, Georgia. And, um, you know, basically from uh, what he tells me and from what I've seen, you know, he is a, has a pretty serious background in law enforcement and he's an expert uh, in, you know, uh, weapons and, uh, you know, firearms and hand-to-hand uh, -hand weapons and things like that. And, uh, you know, he is a, an expert in, uh, in knife fighting and uh, self-defense as well. So he is my go-to guy uh, when I'm, you know, looking for, you know, uh, ideas for uh, self-defense or, you know, techniques, especially with knives. Uh, you know, he has um, the right idea and he also has uh, the right gear for that as well. And the right and some of the, you know, the weapons he's came up with, uh, you know, really quite ingenious. And the Hoffner Beast uh, is no exception. It's a really, um, really amazing knife overall. First off, I'm going to go and run down some specifications of the knife, and which is really neat on the back of the box. So we do have all the features and we do have the specifications, so I'm going to have that uh, there. All right, I'm going to bring the knife up to the camera, get a closer look at. Uh, basically, what we're uh, looking at is a, a big, beefy, hefty uh, piece of 440 stainless steel, the Hoffner Beast. And this one has a, like a black stonewashed blade, OD green handle scales. At this point in time, uh, you can get uh, different versions off of uh, two websites. You can go to Hoffner's. Dot com. You can also go to American Tactical Apparel. Uh, there's different colors, including black, there's a tan, and then I have the OD green. You can also get uh, different designs in the uh, the index finger and the thumb divots here. Um, there is uh, the Hoffner, you know, it's got the, the pretty, pretty neat little aggressive little logo there, with the handgun drawn, and then the American Tactical Apparel uh, logo on there. So there's, there's some cool options with the Hoffner knives out there right now. So uh, first off, I'm going to go over, uh, here is something off camera that I haven't shown yet. Um, I do have it in another video where I go over the American Tactical Apparel Accessories. This is the Hoffner Beast ankle rig sheath. And there's a, there's a close look at it. Like I said, that is in another video. I will provide that link. And this is, some, this is an ankle rig that I do wear this knife in probably more than any uh, you know, rig on my ankle, um, just because it actually is really comfortable. And Mr. Hoffner was kind enough to send me another sheath for this so I can wear it on my belt as well without having to break down, you know, the ankle rig uh, sheath for that. And this one comes with the tech lock, but I'm going to go and get in the specifications of the knife itself. So it's a 440C stainless uh, blade. And yes, it is a, uh, it is five sixteenths of an inch thick. And that is one mean beefy blade comes razor sharp. Um, you know, out of the factory and you know there are some nicks and chips and dings from when I was doing my testing but still overall you know the knife is is intact so that's awesome so you know and as for the uh, 440c stainless that's why the the knife is uh, I believe it's $120 off the website and you know if it was something like a, a d2 or a high carbon um, you know you're it's definitely going to be a little more expensive so that the 440c cuts down on you know on that price and it's also uh, something you would consider with stainless steel is it is something that will um, it'll bend and flex before it will break uh, d2 or higher carbon uh, that is going to sh uh, break or shatter before it will bend so that's that's definitely something to think you know with a, a big old um, hunk of steel like this and then um, the blade length on this one it's a seven inch long blade comes down to a sloped tanto point it is a saber ground so it's uh it maintains the thickness all the, you know, about halfway um, down, you know, the blade of the knife, and then the grind starts to a factory uh, a V grind, which I will say, um, something considered um, sharpening a knife like this will definitely be a little more difficult because it's just such a beefy blade. So definitely consider this, you know, before buying the knife. Um, but it can be done, especially with you know something like a work sharp. Uh, shouldn't be a big issue. You know, I've, I've I've it's been fine with me so far. 
And then, like I said, you know, that is that 5 16, 7 inch thick. That's just, that's crazy. Uh, the weight of the knife, 17.6 ounces. So it is over a pound. That is one hefty blade. You know, no joke on that. Uh, the sheath is 3.75 ounces. So that's, that's really, you know, um, ir uh, irrelevant at that point compared to the weight of the knife. You know, no biggie. But um, it's, uh, but I will say, you know, wearing on the ankle rig, I definitely have gotten used to it. It's it really doesn't affect me with that. You know, I've even taken on long hikes and, and no biggie. As for the sheath, I you know I will say, man, uh, it is a great setup uh, with the sheath. You know, rock solid Kydex sheath comes with a tech lock on the back there, and you know Hoffner's man, you know they they get it right over there when it comes to your overall package for your knife. I mean, no joke on that. When I saw it at the blade show and I checked it out and I felt everything. You know, the way the knife feels in the hand, you know, it's a win. And it does come with really nice jimping there on the top of the knife, on the back end. You know, it fits well. It has the finger divots on there for your thumb and your index finger. So you can rotate the knife around to a reverse uh, grip um, real quickly and easily. And um, it's just, it, it just feels awesome uh, in the hand. So, you know, you got a good design. You've got good materials with that G10 a handle scale that, that takes care of most of the specifications of the knife. You know, I think we all get the idea that it's a pretty big, uh, beefy, mean blade. Um, definitely a heft to it. There's a weight. Um, you know, the edge, you know, like I said, it comes razor sharp. It's stone washed. I mean, you know, very unique uh, but useful uh, knife overall. Okay, so now my, my thoughts on this, and then we're going to jump in, you know, to the testing, fun stuff. So uh, basically, you know, the first thing I said I noticed was uh, the level of comfort. Uh, it is it is a very comfortable knife, and it's, but you know, it's got that uh, it's got that heft to it. I do like the the Tonto piercing point. Uh, it's definitely an aggressive knife when it comes to that. You know, the back of the knife is good for smashing and hammering and things like that. And then you know, as for self defense, you know, there is a lot of you know different ways you can handle this knife uh, very rapidly. It does come with a little you know smaller lanyard hole. You know, I just have just a, a little th a finger grab right there. You know, just when I if I am you know hammering on something, you know, I can put uh, my thumb through it or put an index finger or pinky or something there just so I, you know I don't you know the knife doesn't slip or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it's just overall. Um, you know, it's, it's a really good uh, design, you know, by Mr. Hoffner. You can tell, you know, it's it's well thought out with the ergonomics and then with the, you know, the idea behind the knife here. You know, I know we um, Hoffner and I, we were talking about, um, you know, what you would do with a knife like this. You know, obviously, you know, with the testing coming up, there's some pretty good examples. But a knife like this, um, you know, it's not it's not just not like a survival knife. But it is, it's, you know, it, they call it, he calls it an extreme responder tool. So this is something that you're going to be able to, you know, to bash and smash, you know, or cut uh, your way into or out of. And uh, the other neat thing is it is a really good self-defense blade. And, um, you know, it's nice if you can carry a knife this large uh, concealed uh, with this ankle sheath. And that, that to me, that is amazing. Th this large and that heavy, um, you know, on your ankle without, you know, in a moment's notice, you can get that knife out and, and you can have that heft in your hand and, you know, be ready for action. And that is pretty neat. I mean, so so that that pretty much won me over pretty quick on that. And I've been, uh, you know, duly impressed uh, so far. So, uh, you, know, you know, if you're looking for a knife that you want to, uh, you are interested in having it on, you know, your ankle and it's, you know, maybe a larger knife, you know, this is, this is an awesome choice. And if you're looking for something to keep in your vehicle and, you know, just in case for emergencies or, you know, or you, know, you are in the tactical community and you're looking for a knife that, um, you know, it, it may or may not be a primary, but it's one of those knives that is, you know, it's a little more unique, but it can, you know, get through a ton of stuff very quickly. Uh, you know, this is definitely going to be for you. You know, this is this is a beast. It's not a survival knife, but it is one of those, I'd say it's almost like an urban assault knife in, in that point. And um, there's definitely um, a lot you can do with it. It's kind of like an educated uh, pry bar. Um, but it is it is very very neat. So anyway, um, uh, thank you again to Brian Hoffner for uh, all your support of my YouTube channel as well. And I I really love you know what you've got going, the ideas that you share. And so anyone out there who's looking for you know ideas for uh, self defense, especially um, you know techniques uh, with knives, uh, you want to see Mr. Hoffner. He has the right idea and all that. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for the testing.